in the book of Daniel chapter 5 verse 14 the bible says and this and the spirit of god came upon daniel and daniel had excellent wisdom light and understanding this is the same daniel who was able to stand against the babylonian system the bible says in esther chapter 4 verse 13 that esther you've been chosen for such a time as this that's the same esther that went before the king which was against the law for the queen to come uh, to the king without her being summoned by the king but she went because the people were dying when you study the Bible at the same time, there are people who are able to stand out in their times and seasons, people like Moses. So being a Christian does not mean that you are timid. There is a level where you must be able to participate actively, actively, actively by questioning things, actively by standing your ground. So it is not Christianity to be polite, to be timid and not to face the things that are actually facing us. Because at the same time, all these things are still affecting us directly or indirectly. Either way, they're affecting us. And I want to tell all the young people right now that we are not going to form a political party. We are not going to have a meeting with government because anytime we'll sit with the government on the table, think about it this way. Do you think these guys in government are willing to return back the property they have stolen? They are not willing. Do you think they are willing to return back the tenders that they have been taking? Wakiba amongst them. They are not willing. Do you think the government guys will be willing to cancel the whole finance bill na tuanze from scratch na si ati hawa tengeneze that the public will participate 100% these guys will not be willing it is not going to be easy anytime revolutions have happened it actually took blood it took pain it took time so these guys are not going to sit with us on the table i don't kiss kevin wanaongea the other day i've just had oscar sudi speaking and oscar sudi saying sasa hawa gen z tunafaa tuweke kwa finance bill ya next year wakarabati kidogo you hear that statement to karabati kidogo tuone mali tunaweza waweka you get nile ya let's just see if we can set up an office for them today if the, this government calls you in state house and tells you we want to meet you you know what they'll do they'll choose five people among us put for them an office and say sasa ndo watakuwa na represent gen z because when these people look at us they actually don't understand us they don't even know anything about us they don't have a clue they don't even know who is blogging hawa naambiwa tuna mapia wake wao by the way ni komoto when they look at us they see tiktok they see jokers they see drunkards they don't understand that they are gen z's who are focused they are gen z's who are thinkers they are gen z's who can question they are gen z's who are also wealthy tuko na do by the way see at tumesota they don't know that them probably when they look at their children their children are not focused so they think we are like their children but they don't understand that they are gen z's who have a same mindset we have studied both in terms of christian literature and they have also read other books they don't understand that and so as young people you're not forming a political party no one is going to meet the government if the government wants to meet us the first thing they need to do is to return all the property they have stolen all the land all these accusations they have to respond to them which is not going to be easy and i want to tell all the young people who are at the forefront in the limelight are uh, leading all these mandamanos listen all these politicians you're seeing today were once good people these guys were in the christian union some of them when they joined yk92 they're in the christian union in campus Malala was writing scripts. He wrote a script about shackles of doom. A play that really ili trend kabisa uh, sometimes back. Na yuno ili mleta kwa limelight. All these guys were good people. But because they received money early, the Bible says in the book of Daniel, when they accept to eat the food, the delicacies of the king, it does something to you. Even today has been in Walubengo. If government gives me a job, I'll not be the way I am right now. There is something that you lose. Remember, it's not about just us taking power. To kichukua power at a keso. There is nothing we will change at all. We need to change the whole system. So how are we going to do it? Let's be consistent with our message. The second thing. Let's begin to build capacity. That by the time to narise, Atutaki tu mtu wa kwe president. We want people who will go to all these parastatals. KICD, KPLC. Wakwe watu wenye wako na values. Wanajua God. Na watu wenye wame build capacity. Mtu mwenye ako... We need young people to take over the system, not presidency, not being an MP. Being an MP, you can only do so much. Like always do to mob sana. We need young people in all parastatals by 2027. So to the lawyers, to the doctors, to the engineers of our time, it is time for you to now see how you can begin taking advantage of these opportunities. Otherwise, Keso to Patane Tuesday. Us and the I Speak team will be in Tao. We'll be leading more than 500 young people from I Speak Society. Kujeni maze. And if you want to join us, DM our accounts, I speak society. Tukutumie link. Keso tupatane tao, tuandamane. And I know we'll do this thing differently. And listen guys, it is not about our power. 
you as a human being, you can be corrupted. Let's also depend on God to give us strong moral ground, to help us also to have integrity. And apart from all these things, let's pray that what we kufa kesho. Eh, that kesho tukienda kuandamana, we will pass our message in a solid way, in a sober way. God bless you so much. And as Benihin Walubengo, I still reject the bill.